and they're going to be setting up their controls. While they're setting up their controls, thank you guys very much for watching. If you guys are enjoying the content, be sure to follow us on uh, Twitch.com for future streams like that. If you guys are happen to be in Alaska, whether that be in Fairbanks or at least in Anchorage, Oh yes, we also can't forget our wonderful sponsors of today's tournament. We got to thank as uh, Red uh, Setchicon, Red Bulbs, Joan Soda, as well as uh, Bills just, uh, Distributing as well. Uh, those guys are amazing. Uh, Senjicon and the MTA, as well as Tyus Kitchen, Yogurt Works, and I can't see those last two. I don't recognize them, but yeah, no. Thank you guys very much. Be sure to uh, be sure to support them as well because they supported our tournament. Thank you guys very much. Um, Wolf and Young Link, really? Right, Action Hank also plays Dark Pit. If not Lucas, then Dark Pit, okay. Young Link and Dark Pit versus Ike and Wolf. An exciting match to say overall. You definitely don't see a lot of Dark Pits, uh, but they're they're very well-rounded characters with excellent recovery, so I'd like to see how this goes down. But I don't think it's about the recovery. I think it's just trying to stay alive and DI properly and stuff like that. And make sure, uh, again, no friendly fire. You have to be very careful. For those of you who don't know, when it comes down to a doubles match, friendly fire will always be um, active during the set. So it is possible to accidentally kill your opponent. It adds to a little bit more spice to the entire match to make sure, you know, no, no, nothing happens. Uh, you, you, ha you have to be very considerate towards your partner as well as to the opponent you're fighting against. So... Looks like Tropic Thunder. I was I was saying Tropic House. Excuse me. Tropic Thunder with an entire with a, with a very good percentage lead. Like to see where it goes from here. Now with both players, uh, with Young Link and Dark Pit, they're very good projectile characters, or at least uh, at least with Dark Pit, he's a very he's a very good uh melee he's a very good melee character, but he does have a projectile to help him out too, as well as uh, two deflectors, side B and down B. With Young Link, he definitely has a lot of projectiles to keep it very interesting. But unfortunately, though, when it comes down to a 2v2, he can't be throwing off projectiles every time. Like, that's a 1v1, so. Trap Cardo, losing his third stock, now down to two. Bubba with three stocks at 118%. Any move could possibly be a kill off stage. Yep, just like that. Bubba now down to two stocks left. Tropic Thunder with an entire stock lead with both players. Each player having an extra stock on the other team. Forward, uh, forward or dash attack will almost confirm the kill. That was quite unfortunate, but unfortunately, though, it was able for Youngling to recover back on stage. Let's see here. All four players now down to two stocks left. Going back and forth here. Let's look at Trap Cardo versus Young Link over here. Oh, what an excellent read! Expecting the air dodge and getting the forward smash that will confirm the kill early. That was quite excellent from Trap Cardo. Action Hank and Action Hank and Young Link, both players. It seems like Trap House has an entire stock lead here. Uh, Trap House with four stock, Tropic Thunder with three stock in total. Tries getting the down smash, but the roll was just in time before it connected. Oh, the side B will be punished. <gasps> that was quite unfortunate for Bubba to uh, punish Trap Carter like that. And just like that, the entire lead is lost, and Trap Cardo and Bubba are both down to one stock left. Tropic Thunder with a three stock lead, Action Hank having two stocks, Young Link having one stock, but at 113% when it comes down to a character like Ike, he could die at, at this rate. Trap Cardo, or not Trap Cardo, but the Young Link player needs to be very considerate of Action Hank. He's been definitely hitting him a decent amount of times with his projectiles. Oh, forward tilt will confirm the kill. And, oh, the share stock. All right, then ball, all four players now down to a stock each. But Action Hank is down to 119%. I don't know if that was exactly an ethical move here, but we have to see how this plays out. Baba and Action Hank, both at kill percent if they're not careful. The down smash almost confirming the kill, and that was quite unfortunate, but Action Hank was luckily able to make it back on stage. But the second time the smash attack happens, he needs to be more considerate of his partner before he accidentally kills him. Down throw into, into Nair. Action Hank versus Bubba. Both high percentage players. Basically, one will leave this match. Up smash will not... Oh, Action... Tropic Thunder needs to be very careful. There's been too many times they've been getting so many smash attacks on each other. At this point, they're at this point their opponents isn't Trap House, it's just each other. 
Forward smash doesn't confirm the kill, but Bubba is knocked out of the match. Let's see how Trap Cardo fares with all of this. Recovers back on stage. Oh! Action Hank being very respectful, but unfortunately, though, leaves it to a 1v1 with the Young Link versus Trap Cardo. And that, is, that isn't exactly a very ethical thing. It, <gasps> that's quite unfortunate just to get the SD. Tropic Thunder getting the first point. Nice wow, okay. That was quite an interesting set with both teams, bo both of them being having a stock lead and just having it all completely switched around. That was very awkward, but let's hope we see the second match a little bit differently. I definitely have to recommend for Tropic Thunder to not do a lot of friendly fires. There's been too many kills rather than the opponents confirming the kill, but rather their opponents. Or not the opponents, excuse me, uh, each other, excuse me. I'm wondering if there's going to be any character changes, to say the least. Trap Cardo has been sticking with Ike, and I don't think he has any plans to change. If he does, that'll be very interesting, but yeah, no. Wolf Player also did pretty well himself. Bubba did amazing. Action Hank did pretty decent for a Dark Pit, uh... Overall, it definitely definitely could have been a better... Uh, again, it's just the friendly fires. It could have been a better performance if it wasn't for the friendly fires. And I'm pretty sure if they didn't kill each other, what, they did win the match. They did win the point. But unfortunately, though, it's just... It, it, could, have, it could have been a lot leisurely. It could have been a lot, you know, stress-free if they weren't killing each other. All four players now reselecting their characters. No character changes so far. We're just going to jump right into this. Tropic Thunder, one point. I do believe if this is loser semis, this is going to be a best two out of three. Let's check this out here real quick. Oh, winner, winner semifinal? I don't think that's correct. Oh, well. We'll just keep commentating the match here. Now, Action Hank already has Trap Cardo, but is now switching to Bubba. I like what he's doing there. So, well, I do, but I don't, because it's a very high-risk, high-reward maneuver. Uh, switching from Trap Cardo and breaking him away from Bubba, and then teaming up with a Young Link player to take out Bubba, so. Oh, Up Air just confirms the kill at 102%. Excellent job by Trap Cardo. Unfortunately, though, when it comes to a stage like this, the, the, with the platforms especially, too, the ceiling can be pretty small. The ceiling is actually pretty close, and you can't confirm kills early, especially with characters like Bayonetta and stuff like that. You need to be very careful, so. All right. Trap Cardo and Bubba does have a lot of good team-up, though. I like what they're doing here. Seems like seems like Trap Cardo is definitely trying to pick out the Young Link player. It, it, it seems like he's he's definitely wanting the kill here, trying trying to pick off the weak link, if you will. Both teams have been playing relatively well, though. There is no better player, though. That was very excellent from Action Hank to get the side B. Bubba now down to two stocks. All four or uh, Young Link as well with two stocks. Trap Cardo and Action Hank, both players with three stocks. Young Link now down to his one stock left. Excellent play from Trap House, having an entire two stock lead here. Just as I say that, now bumped down, now uh, knocked down to one stock lead here. It's looking really, looking pretty even here. No, no one's doing any better. I'm expecting Action Hank to at least get Gimps against Wolf, just because like. Nair to Nair can be a thing, so it's like uh, edge guarding off stage shouldn't be too hard, especially with a character against Wolf. Up tilt doesn't confirm the kill, but Trap Car just wants to end him early. Wants this? Will that confirm the kill? No, it won't. He might be punished. Back here will confirm the kill. Share st I don't know if that sheer stock was really important. I think Trap Cardo is now going to revert back to the young link here. Bubba, still focused on Action Tank and trying to take him out. It's a pretty close match here. Anything could easily happen. A player could easily kill another player, especially if that player was their partner. Attack after attack, hit after hit, but it's all still pretty even. Trap Cardo and Bubba, still both with two stocks. Action, Action Hank and Young Link, both with one.
Need to be very careful here. Forward air will confirm the kill, and it's now down to Youngling to save this entire match. Bubba, unfortunately, SDing, losing a stock, having one more stock left, but trapped Carter with two. I would be very interesting to see how this would turn out. <gasps> Tries getting the spike. Interesting. Forward tilt. Where else does this go? Nah, the neutral B. The neutral B with its interesting hitbox will confirm the kill, and Trap House now has its first point. Both teams are now down to match point here, so. Orlando. Winners, losers? Still trying to set that up here. Losers round four. All right, then. So this still is a best two out of three. Thank you, Orlando. Shout out to Orlando being our tournament organizer, as well as uh, Frenchy and Banky, as well as uh, Bombi. And yeah, no. Losers eights. Copy. All right, then. Safe to save for the least. Regardless of what it is, this will be a best two out of three. And knowing that this is in the losers bracket, whoever loses this will be knocked out of the tournament. Stakes are pretty high here with both players being at one point. Three, two, one, the Youngling go. player switching to Pikachu. This will be very interesting to say the least. Uh, switching from Youngling to Pikachu. Pikachu definitely has a lot of good recovery, you know, side B and up B, but it's... I'd say he's relatively easy to kill. Definitely a lot more heavier than Pichu is, but he's still... He, the work has to be put in. Action Hank still being comfortable with the, with the dark pit he chose. Trap Cardo. Let's see where he goes from here. Down B will not confirm the kill, but it got pretty close there. Forward smash will, though. Bubba now down to two stocks left. I'm not sure what these players could do any do differently uh, to help them out in the set. I definitely noticed that you know just Trap Cardo was just just right after the Youngling player. He was just right after him and just tried confirming the kill early. Up smash does not confirm the kill, but gets pretty close. Pikachu with both. Oh, back air confirms the kill. Pikachu player at two points, uh, two stocks left. That was an interesting one. Nair into uh, Pikachu's down. That was a nice combo. Trap Cardo and Action Hank, both with three stocks, but Trap Cardo at 120%. Action Hank attacking his own attacking his own partner. Down B confirms the kill. Trap Cardo now at two stocks left. Nair, Nair out of shield is dead. I'm not sure if that's definitely a good option, but it, it does seem like it by the looks of it. Excellent combo by uh, Bubba and Trap. Oh, that was quite unfortunate. Dash attack almost kills the Pikachu player. Nice. Excellent job by Action Hank tracking down Car Trap Cardo's roll, but still gave him enough time for him to block. The Pikachu player seems to be a little bit antsy. He's definitely looking for smash attacks. Forward tilt will confirm the kill. The Pikachu player is now down to one stock left. Needs to be very careful. <gasps> oh my goodness gracious! Broken shield into the side B. Bubba now down to his last stock. That was amazing. That's what we love to see, ladies and gentlemen. Up smash will confirm the kill in action, Hank. And that was quite unfortunate. Pikachu and Bubba down to two, uh, one stock left. Trap Cardo and action, Hank both with two. It mainly comes down to who dies first and who is knocked out of the set. And whether or not the Pikachu player will share stock here. That's quite important. That's That really needs to be important communication here. Side B to an unfortunate forward smash. Baba is definitely antsy for the kill. He wants those smash attacks. Action Hank still keeping a calm and cool head. Strap Cardo also keeping a calm and cool head, but now at 103%, needs to focus on a little bit more defenses here. The Pikachu does get the down smash. Back air, almost, 
That's such a good back air. That, that's a really good back air, almost confirming the kill there. Baba now officially knocked out of the tournament. Drop House or Tropic Thunder. Tropic Thunder, Action Hank with two stocks. It is now down to a 1v1 with Action Hank at 104% trap. Cardo with one stock left. It is now down officially to a 1v1, ladies and gentlemen. We definitely have to see how this goes. Now with a one-on-one -on -one with no distractions or nothing else. It's definitely up to the opponents and their attention to see who wins this match. Trap Cardo now down to his last stock. Could knock out his entire team out of the tournament. S Neutral B does confirm the kill. Action Hank now down to one stock left. Could Trap House clutch this? Excellent spacing by Tra action, excellent spacing by Action Hank here. Up tilt in the air, very nice. Trap Cardo has been doing an amazing job maneuvering around Action Hank's aerial attacks, but just needs to find a way to slip in. That's definitely not safe on Shield. The fair to the Shield is not safe. Goes in for the up smash, and it does connect, but doesn't confirm the kill. Trap Cardo definitely needs to be doing a lot of nares. I'm not sure why he hasn't been doing that. Forward tilt, very nice. Side B, allowing him to recover back on stage and bring up Action Hank to 31%. Oh, that could have been punished with a whiffed forward tilt. Up B out of shield, very nice, good option. Action Hank just looks like he has full control of this. Trap Cardo at 134%. How is this going to play out? Trap Cardo just having a hard time getting in. No, but he still, he still lives. He's still living. He just needs to get one good hit, one good forward smash, and with all that rage, he could get the kill. He could. Forward air, where else does Action Hank go from here? That will be punished. Tropic Thunder, excellent play by Action Hank, moving them up the list. Trap House will be knocked out of the tournament. Very excellent job from both players to say the least. I loved, I loved watching that as a whole. Um, shield break, excellent shield break. I, I enjoyed the living heck out of that. That was, wow.